nice overcast day here in Maryland. Feels good actually, not too hot. A little testing today, number one of two. This one came out awesome. This guy's down in Miami. Ooh, little carry handle removes for the movable battery plate. Looking really good. FPV camera. And then the Ronin 2 mount right there, so that'll click right onto their gimbal and their camera. But we're just lifting 20 pounds for right now, just as a little test. Uh, coming soon. Airborne. All right, and we're testing numero dos. This is for some friends overseas. Raptor, that's badass, a cool logo. Flying film, red and airy. On our 20 pound test weight platform. Uh, looking really good. So aircraft number two of two going. Uh, we're all set, things are looking really nice. Uh, got you know, float around a little bit. It's checking all the boxes. So now we just kind of put it through its paces and do what a typical cinema operator would do, probably on set. Um, we just, uh, you know, move around a little bit. We busted in sport mode. So full flight, full speed. All right. So then, as we come back here across the center. We're gonna let it come to a quick stop. Here we go, stopping now. So pretty good. We've uh, changed the settings so that that way it doesn't stop too abruptly and sling the camera around. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. So the next thing we check is uh, agility and gains. So I already have preset gains on this aircraft based on the other ones that we put out. But basically we just check like the feel around center. We don't want it too twitchy, um, but we want it responsive still. So this is in sport mode. So if the cinema guys have a big camera underneath and they're chasing a car or a boat or whatever, they want it to be pretty fast. Um, but right now we're just checking kind of gains around center. And we check this based on how I used to check gains with our aerobatic RC helicopters. So basically we give a forward and a back motion quickly. And we look at how it's returning the center. And so it's not, it's not, uh, no jitters when we stop. Um, this is a DJI flight controller, so the tuning's so easy. Um, but basically, it's just holding its own and then returning back to center. Uh, side to side. Forward back. And then with rudder, when we spin and tell it to stop, it stops. A solid rudder tuning. Uh, these things are already uh, pretty well dialed in just based on the other aircraft that we've done before. And then, more speed runs. So besides speed runs and gain checking, that wasn't gain tuning, that was just gain checking. Besides that, we just do full ascents and full descents to make sure that on a full punch out, it's climbing level. Um, you know, it's not hanging to one side and the GPS can't, um, you know, it can keep it in one spot. And then also a full descent, which is pretty scary for multi-rotors because multi-rotors hate descending because it's just the air cavitates and uh, any rotary aircraft just really does not like descending. So we're gonna do that in sport mode, basically as hard as we can, as fast as we can. So we will uh, do a uh, full ascent. Here we go. Sport mode. So that's the max ascent rate. And then I'm going to put it into a full descent and stop right on the deck. So 
that right there, pretty good. You can see it wiggling a little bit. It still stayed stable. And um, yeah, so this one's good to go. Be shipping out tomorrow. So judging by our uh, jetty box here, we've consumed a little over 12,000 milliamps. 80% uh, of my 16,000 packs is 12,600, so it's pretty good. 17 minute flight time, just banging this thing around, full speed, climbs uh, with a 20 pound payload. So I will take that all day long.